What's going on YouTube? What's going on Knicks fans and family? Thanks for tuning in. A Gamble. If this is your first time checking out the channel, you're late. Without further ado, let's get to the video. So first guys, I want to start by saying I am out on vacation in the beautiful Bahamas and it is beautiful and it has been amazing thus far. This trip has been, it's been dope. The resort I'm staying in is amazing. But what more importantly amazing is this. Now, I have met <laughs> A diehard New York Knicks fans out here so I want to give a shout out to Mustafa yes Mustafa I met another Mustafa out here who is a diehard Knicks fan so I want to give him a big shout out um, he said he never misses a game even when he was living in Egypt he would get up at 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning whatever he had to do to find the Knicks playing listen to them playing or whatever the Knicks fans travel well and I actually seen somebody with a Giants hat and, and he was a local not a, a you know a visitor he was a he was a local with a Giants hat didn't get a chance to talk to him I wish I would have gotten an opportunity but shout out to Mustafa and the amazing staff here Kara Danico at the Pizza Lab shout out to all of those guys who made our trip here wonderful now let's get on to something that put a small stain on my trip while I was here the Knicks lost two games we lost to Sacramento and then we just lost last night to Portland in a game that we were getting destroyed but the bench came in and and did some amazing bench things quick did some amazing quick things and showed us a lot of promise as a team we're showing a lot of promise but we lost a game that we i mean for all intents and purposes we say we, we could have won and the sacramento game we probably all feel we should have won now what i want to talk about and excuse me if it's like really windy out here is really windy out here one thing I want to talk about, I'm watching the fan base, I'm watching the Knicks fan base and how it's kind of changed. Change for the better and change for the worse. Change for the better is our expectations. Change for the worse are our expectations. Because now, what I'm seeing is fans are pissed. Way more pissed than any time we've ever been losing games. When we lose games. But they're not realizing why they're so pissed. The reason why they're so pissed is a good thing because they're expecting us to win these games. Two, three years ago, we weren't expecting ourselves to win any game. We were always trying to lose games and tank. Now we lose to the Sacramento Kings, we're like, we should have beaten, we should have won that game. When we lose to Portland, we should have won that game. That means that we as a fan base are believing in the team. That means the team is also giving us something to believe in. We see the promise, we see the ability. We just need to be able to put it all together in one game we need to see everybody have a good game at the same time similar to what we've seen against the Warriors similar to what we've seen against the Celtics we're not seeing those efforts enough now part of it I think is because of the lineup changes, and this is my problem with what the Knicks are doing right now I needed Reggie Bullock out of that starting lineup but inserting Alec Burke into that starting lineup did not do it for me even though Alec Burke played a solid game he played a really good game but I think Alec Burke throws off the chemistry of this team. I, I think Alec Burke thinks he's the number one and number two option when he's on the court. He just isn't and he just shouldn't be. Alec Burke has zero handles. Yes, he, he, he should just be a catch and shoot guy, but he thinks he's supposed to be out there handling the ball. He has zero handles to be out there handling the ball trying to run the offense. He just doesn't have that in his game and he's doing it when he's in the game. And I think it's affecting the players that are playing around him. I've seen another game where Kevin Knox was very... I'm not going to call him inefficient. He basically just wasn't there. And trying to split the minutes between Kevin Knox, Toppin, and now Burke and Bullock is really stunting his growth. I would love to see Knox get that chance to start one damn game at the three position. He's shown strides on defense, and I think we need to see that Alec Burke is a good piece for a contending team. But he's really just in the way in my opinion because he's not part of our long-term plans he's another guy that we signed to one year that is just in the way of the development of the guys that we plan on having here long term if we do re-sign Alec Burke next year it will be another one-year deal same as Alfred Payton now, I believe we need some stability at the point guard I believe we, we should keep starting Alfred Payton at the point guard but again not at the expense of the development of quick and dare I say it even Frank Lakina if we're going to keep him on the team we need to see what these guys have and we need to let them play it's not just like we always say we need to see what a guy's got no we need to let them develop we we see it we need to let them develop so we lost another game and i definitely want to get back to the sacramento game because i wasn't able to make a video about that tyler halliburton or hal burton whatever this salty ass kid making his comments about he wants to make sure the knicks don't sleep right every time listen we're not the only team that passed up on you young man so i don't 
I don't know if the Knicks had great meetings with him and he really thought he was going to be picked by Knicks. I don't I don't know what that's all about. Yes, we, you know, it, it, it looked like we could have went with him in the draft and now he's panning out to look pretty solid, but he's also playing for the Kings. So you, you got to take anybody playing for the Kings, putting them numbers with a grain of salt, like quite frankly. So yeah, he's salty and he wants to make the Knicks pay. But really, we've already won that battle because I think what he really is salty about, not that the Knicks passed over him, is that he's playing for the Sacramento Kings. He's playing for the nondescript Sacramento Kings. So even if he starts dropping 40 points a night, he's still playing for the Sacramento Kings. And I think he's upset because he wanted to be a Knick. He just flat out wanted to be a New York Knick. Or he definitely didn't want to be a Sacramento King. So he's going to be salty for the first five years of his career. So he kind of needs to get over it. Hopefully we face them again somewhere along the lines and we smash them. So I don't even have much to say about the Portland game. The Portland game was what it was. We got down late. I, I will say this. If you think about if you think about the strides our team has made, number one in defense. Number one in defensive three point percentage. Number one defense field goal percentage. We also have some things going for us that we just never had before. We have the NBA's leader in free throw percentage. And Emmanuel Quickly, our rookie point guard. And this is legit. This is not a guy who shot 12 free throws. This guy gets to the line. He's leading the league in free throw percentage. Kid me? Julius Randle went 10 for 11 last night from the free throw line. RJ Barrett has been making his free throws. We also got Mitchell Robinson, who's number one in the league in dunks. Now, I'm not saying these, these empty stats really mean something, but if you think about where our team was to where it is now, teams know they have to come to play when they play against us. And I'm happy for that as a Knicks fan, and that gives me great hope going for the future. So, guys, this is Mustafa Love with Hearts Media, and I'm signing off from beautiful Bahamas. I also want to offer a huge shout out to one still living legend, Miss Betty White, who on her birthday just yesterday turned 99 years young. Now, a lot of people might be familiar with Betty White, well, most people will be, from her later years and her later age and becoming popular from a show like Golden Girls and some of the things that she's done past uh, her hilarious tweets, comments, interviews. But a lot of people don't know that. Betty White was once a very beautiful Hollywood starlet and I will post some images here for you to admire her and all of her youthful greatness but I have come to love this woman as an entertainer and as an actress and I am so happy that she is still here with us and um, hopefully we see more years to come from Betty White and um, we look forward to seeing her turn 100 this time next year. Hey guys, thanks for watching. As always, if you like these videos, you can click my face here to subscribe. Here to watch my videos.